everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and this is the Cooler Master Silent Pro M2 1500 watt power supply and in case you're not familiar with Cooler Master's power supply lineup their Silent Pro series is actually their high-end uh, power supply line they have three versions, you have the Silent Pro M2 which includes this power supply right here carries an A plus silver and some of them carry an A plus bronze uh, rating and they have a Silent Pro Gold and as you might have gathered from the name it carries a gold, uh, 80 plus gold certification and they also have the latest one the Silent Pro Hybrid their fully modular line and uh, while the Silent Pro M2 and the Silent Pro Gold are uh, semi modular in design and if you notice the 1500 watt uh, it's not your typical power supply size it is actually a lot larger than what you're used to and uh, we'll see later once you unbox it what uh, what this kind of power supply is used for and uh, see the the box itself uh, typical power supply uh, rather typical cooler master packaging you have the uh, they're doing this color scheme uh, lately you have the they have the plum colored with the white background and see here on the right it uh, has a uh, 120 amp and 12 volt rail dual rail so I'm assuming because one is fully one uh, 12 volt rail is fully modular one is hardwired so We'll see the breakdown of that here on the left side here in the table of specifications. See there at the bottom, the table says you're going to top, but at the bottom you have the AC input, DC output, and total power table. And there's a breakdown of that here. You can see that uh, the dual rails here, one has a 70A, one is a 55A. So I'm assuming the lower one is the modular, uh, which is still pretty high. And while the 70A is for the uh, hardwired 12 volt um, cables and uh, see a uh, breakdown there you have the 30 amp on both the 3.3 and the 5 volt and up to 150 watt and the minus 12 volt and the plus VSB and total 1500 watts and you'll also see the um, type of power supply it has on the right side since uh, Cooler Master uh, is a they have uh, products worldwide you have different versions of it depending on your region since we have uh, the we are in North America we have the US type power supply and uh, there's a quick glance in the table specifications here what comes with the package you have the modular connectors uh, just the, the the protection pretty much standard here you have a uh, over voltage protection UVP OPP OTP SCP OCP and uh, the fan used, the fan used is a 135 millimeter silent hydric, hydraulic bearing fan. And uh, here at the back of the box, pretty much just more uh, promotional information. And the size pretty plain. So let's just start opening the box right now. See that the box uh, actually is a lot larger than most power supplies since the unit itself is quite large. It looks like a video card box, but a lot heavier. Here you have a uh, styrofoam covering for the top and first thing you see are the documentation including the warranty card. You can write your product name and serial number in there and then send a union back in case it is defective when you purchase it or something goes wrong. The Silent Pro M2 1500 watt power supply carries a 5 year warranty so you um, should keep that card handy and uh, so you can um, just have it ready for RMA just in case something goes wrong and you have this user's manual which has the breakdown it's actually a universal uh, user's manual for uh, all the Sound Pro M2 line from the 720 watt all the way to the 1500 watt series and just the has the uh, specifications installation and the connector descriptions in multiple languages and inside let's see what the uh, little pack here is a little bag with four screws. They are black screws you can use to install your power supply inside your uh, case. And let me just move the, mod the non-modular cables aside so we can take a look at the modular cables. This is for the PCIe or VGA power connectors. See that it looks similar to the Silent Pro Hybrid and Silent Pro um, gold cables. The coloring is similar to the Sound Pro Hybrid, which is, uh, of course, gray on the one end. Sound Pro Gold is uh, colored gold, but it looks similar, the same gauge as of the wires. And also, these are flat ribbon wires, so they're uh, they're not they're not like this one, which is braided and kind of rounded off. So you can uh, 
these are easier to manage and uh, they take up little space inside your case and you see the connectors are, one end is an 8 pin and a 6 pin so you have three of them so you can plug in up to three triple SLI GTX 580 with these modular cables this side and see what other modular cables we got here we have the Molex cables in here similarly they are flat cables they are monochrome black you have Molex and you also have one floppy connector on one end and this other one is of course the SATA cables see here there are in one uh, ribbon you have one two three four SATA power uh, cables and you get three of these and the last cable in this package is the power cable and uh, let's see here uh, since it is a 1500 watt power supply you notice that this connector is different there's a C19 connector compared to the uh, connector used in regular power supplies of course you need more current that's why you need this one although uh, you can't just use this in any other power supply so uh, that's not really a big uh, con or not a big uh, minus in terms of uh, power supplies is you don't really if you have a 1500 power supply you don't really need to interchange it with other cables so you're not taking it to LAN parties or anything so see that cable right there it looks a lot larger but the other end is a typical uh, connector I believe these are uh, <clears throat> this is the C19, C20, and uh, this is C14. I believe I forgot what the standard is because nobody refers to it as anything else. But it is the standard uh, C14 or C13 connector. We'll verify it just in case I'm wrong. I'm going to put a, a footnote in there for correction. And uh, of course, we have the hardwired cable. And uh, as mentioned, the it already has modular cables for 12 volt, but the second rail, the first rail rather. As for the PCIe connector, hardware in there, let's see how many we get. We also get three, so you can basically have uh, six GTX 580s. I'm not, it's not even officially supported, but uh, in case you need to, maybe for a folding farm, that will be just three hardwired um, eight pin, and the other end is a uh, six plus two pin. So that is a lot of PCIe connectors. And let's see here. The eight pin connectors here see these are not uh, four plus four pin connectors you're actually solid eight pin connectors you can't uh, break it away and it'll be four plus four so there's two eight pin connectors and lastly the 24 pin power similar to the eight pin uh, connector it's not uh, detachable to 20 plus four it is just solid 24 pin power connector and let's take out the Silent Pro M2 1500 watt power supply from the rest of the packaging here and, and uh, let's take a look at the body of the power supply itself. Alright, so here we have the Silent Pro M2 1500 watt power supply completely out of the packaging and let's start uh, to take a look at the features here starting with the 135 millimeter hydraulic uh, bearing fan. You can see through some of it, you can see the heat sink they used uh, for the uh, internal components and uh, this Pretty simple design. There's a little bit of plastic in here. You might want to remove before you use it. I'll remove it there. And uh, the unit itself looks very simple. Uh, it's still no no other um, flair to the design other than the logo here on the left side. And uh, let's take a look. measuring here or a ruler and see how long it is since it is a lot longer than what you're used to. So you want to make sure that it it uh, it fits inside your case. In terms of inches, it is about uh, 8 point, it's a little over 8.5 or 8.7 inches long. In millimeters, in centimeters rather, it is 22 centimeters long. So that's a, a little more definite and measured. So uh, in case you're not familiar, uh, most power supplies don't really reach that long since it is a 1500 watt power supply, hence the size difference. And uh, here at the back, the honeycomb grill, you can see through uh, you can see in there, you can see a, a pair of heat sinks in there, actually, and some internal components where the heat will actually exhaust here out at the back. And there's a warning label in here. Uh, it is dangerous if the wall outlet is not specified for 125 VAC, or 16A, or 250 VAC, 10A. And there is a large um, 
on and off switch at the back as you know and uh, it has active PFC if you notice you don't need to switch between uh, 110 to 2050 BAC depending on your area and uh, let me just remove this label here so you can see the again the C19 C20 connector it uh, looks different than what you're used to in regular power supply and here on the side just more sign Pro M2 uh, logo is actually I'm not sure if it's is it painted in there or it's there's like a big actually sticker that's uh, uh, covering the entire side in there and the connectors the hardwired connectors in here we already outlined and let me just flip it so you can see the labels on the modular connectors see the it's pretty simple you have six uh, rather three uh, PCIe connectors in here label at the bottom and you also have four or rather five uh, Molex 4 pin uh, to or uh, floppy to say the connectors here at the bottom and at the top you have the as we look at the box you have the breakdown of values in here uh, as mentioned the first 12 volt rail has 70 amps the hardwired cable while the modular cables have 55 amps on the 12 volt uh, second 12 volt rail of 1440 watts and uh, with the 3.3 5 volt and and the other rest here you got 1500 watt total and uh, see here 80 plus silver uh, we were actually outlined all the other features in here and the box rating so uh, only thing to do now is uh, put the sound pro m2 1500 watt in our system and test it out and uh, actually I'm not even sure how I can load this fully without a, an, an artificial loading um, system since even a quad SLI system or a triple SLI system will at most I pulled around 900 watts or 1000 watts with uh, a lot of peripherals attached, a lot of hard drives attached so that will probably be the most we're going to pull here with our um, real world test system so uh, we should do that and also uh, see how well the Silent Pro M2 1500 watt from Cooler Master performs.